Hello TechCrunch, I'm Vamsi Nalmotu, co-founder and CEO at Tidepool. Prior to Tidepool, I led monetization teams at Zynga and eBay. I'm here today with my co-founder and chief scientist, Dr. Galen Buckwalter. Galen has previously worked at eHarmony. Supported by our awesome team here in San Francisco, we are on a mission to quantify your brain health. Today, we are measuring several aspects of our life, starting from our steps to sleep. But we think it is much more important for us to understand how healthy our brains are, how emotionally well we are. Starting with our first step in that direction, Tidepool helps you understand how your personality, states of your cognition and emotions drive and uh, impact your daily performance. Using scientific and uh, patented technology, our games are designed to help you understand what makes you unique. Today, we are thrilled to showcase some of our games here. So let's take a quick example. Uh, Cindy, a friend of mine, is also a startup founder. So like many of us in this room, she is struggling to balance her time uh, across her work, home, and with her friends. Each day, as her stress and anxiety levels increase, Cindy realizes that it is having a direct impact on her relationships, both at work and at home, and more importantly, on her health. She's not happy about it, but do you think she's gonna visit a doctor for this? Again, like many of us, she did not. She, however, decided to take action, and so you started using Tidepool. In less than a minute, with, by playing a fun and a visual game, Cindy quickly established her baseline personality profile. She thoroughly enjoys the game and finds her profile described super accurately. Tidepool then uh, helps Cindy to track her other aspects, like her cognition and emotion, through a series of our games. So let's look at one of our games that Cindy plays multiple times a day. This game helps her uh, track her attention and speed. As you can see, our games are fun, simple, and quick to play. Tidepool in this instance actually measures a lot of factors like her reaction time, her speed, the pressure, uh, her time sh the time she takes to finish the game, and combines all of that information with her personality, sleep, and activity patterns. With all of this combined, Tidepool provides her with results that are not just about Cindy's game performance or about those cute animal badges that she earns each time she plays it, but Tidepool actually provides insights into when during the day she is most sharp. With this, Cindy quickly realizes that she has been placing mentally taxing activities during the points of the day when she's not at her best. Tidepool, and Tidepool even recommends the kind of activities that Cindy should take based on her state of uh, attention and speed. This is just one use case. Tidepool goes a couple of steps further. Tidepool integrates with other biometric devices like Fitbit and gives you a holistic perspective of your health. It helps you understand all the dimensions that are influencing your health and influencing your current uh, speed and attention. Tidepool actually works with five different dimensions that influence all of our daily behavior, starting with our personality, our states of cognition, levels of emotion, our physical health, and relationships. Now with all of this information, Cindy finds it really easy to organize her day better, get more done in a day, and have healthier relationships. So let's see. Tidepool offers you fun, personal, personalized games that you can play to track all your performance factors in one place. Tidepool allows you to connect with other biometric devices like Fitbit. Tidepool gives you personalized recommendations that you can apply right away. Soon, through our uh, premium, uh, premium model, you can also access 
premium games and reports. Reports that you can actually share with your family, uh, doctors, or even coaches. In a recent study done by National Institute of Medical Health, it is known that about a quarter of America and over two billion people worldwide are facing brain health challenges. It is no longer about just avoiding Alzheimer's in 20 years from now. It is about understanding our health today, taking actions that can help us take better care of ourselves, have healthier relationships that can actually help us build resilience over time. So with that thought in your mind, we are very excited today to launch our first mobile application here at TechCrunch. It's free. Download now and take control of your health. Thank you. Tide pool. Judges? So I remember a similar pitch from Lumos Labs, now Lumosity. Uh, can you compare and contrast for me? Absolutely. Uh, so Lumo, we differentiate ourselves from Lumosity uh, directly starting with, because uh, uh, Lumosity starts off with just cognitive capabilities, and we are differentiating ourselves by giving you a holistic perspective of factoring in other factors like emotions and so on. Uh, and um, you know, Lumosity focuses primarily on uh, uh, you know, one aspect of cognitive improvement but our pitch is to seamlessly integrate even all the other data points that are there, that are existing in the market through biometric devices. Um, and our science, uh, Galen can speak to that differences there as well. Yeah, we're, we are um, systematically developing these tests to assess a complete range of psychological and cognitive dimensions, and we put those together to give you unique prescriptions for improving your life. OK. Question about um, you know, to that. Uh, tell me more about the, the sort of science behind this, the science team behind this, how you're approaching this. Like, what, How do you know that the analysis is right? How do you plan to test this out further? Um, I, I take full responsibility for that. <laughs> I had developed the um, test at eHarmony uh, before it was launched. Um, and take quite a bit of pride in the fact that, that now the model that uh, we, I built there uh, is responsible for over 5% of uh, the marriages in the United States. So, um, you know, we take, we take our tests very seriously. We systematically validate every test. Um, you know, Mechanical Turk and things like that are a godsend to us to be able to, you know, put out little tests for uh, reliability, validation, systematically assuring that we're measuring every construct that we purport to measure. And our personality, just to add to that, our personality uh, game is actually driven by psychometrically valid methods. And we have defined, derived like close to 60 personality types, and it beats pretty much every other personality profiling software that is out there in the market right now. Is there a social aspect to these games? And That's a great games? question. Uh, so some of our games are going to have uh, social elements as well. Um, like, for example, even here at TechCrunch, when we were showcasing uh, our snoozer game, people are like, can we share it with my friends? I'm competitive, and things like that. So definitely some games definitely will have social element to it. But when it comes to your reports and personal information, I think that's where privacy and we will ensure that it doesn't cross to that point. Hmm. How are you going to drive adoption of this application? Like, other than like being in the app store, I didn't yeah. see ways of driving adoption, gaining users, yeah. getting the word out, um, overcoming people's skepticism. Yeah. <laughs> For example, I would be extremely skeptical about it improving my mental health. <laughs> Yeah, so the positioning is pretty critical there. And uh, actually, uh, you're absolutely right. Beyond even direct advertising or getting in the app store, we are actually looking at uh, uh, ways of integrating this into the uh, employer healthcare benefits. 
uh, and are working our way into the wellness programs. Actually, due to predecessors uh, like Lumosity and Fitbit, who are already integrated into those uh, programs, it's actually our path to go into those programs is pretty easy. Um, I wouldn't say very easy, but it's easier than other apps that are trying to get traction at this point. And on top of it, we are also in talks with uh, one of the largest healthcare providers in US. Um, and Gillen and I are extremely happy that uh, learning that we are actually selected to be working very closely with one of the insurance providers also in US here. So are you gonna have a B2C angle with a B2B monetization or do you have in-app purchase or how are you? That's definitely a great question as well. So uh, our direct to consumer model is based on freemium as I was just talking about. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll offer premium games and uh, 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 reports that users can directly buy from us. And the customer channels that I've just, uh, customer acquisition channels that I've just talked about could also bring in revenues over time. So you mentioned um, acquisition, and I always play these things. I'm a sucker for these kinds of things. Um, but I always fall off the bandwagon about two weeks in. Like, how, do you, how are you approaching retention and engagement? Yeah, that's uh, one of uh, the ways. I mean, I come from Zynga. So we are very stringent about a 3R model, which is reach, retention, and revenues. So from engagement standpoint, we are putting in the social filters into the games where you can actually share the points with your friends and family, and you get additional points for bringing in more people in and things like that. But for deeper engagement, we are also looking at um, reaching out to the consumers even offline when they are not actually playing the game with our recommendations that they could do uh, even off of the app. So When we think about the, uh, the, te the games that we're developing, um, literally there's hundreds of games that we'll be looking at. It's, you know, I mean, we're, we're thinking about, you know, attachment style, um, you know, your uh, interests, your values, your motivations. Um, you know, there, there are tons of things that, that you know, people want to know about, and, it, and it, it will be, you know, really valuable for them to know, so. And from even our early data uh, alpha that we just ran, uh, we are seeing when it comes to recommendations, people are, like, really attaching to those recommendations, and we are seeing over 30% return rate just based on those recommendations. So we're out of time. That was Tidepool. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you.